Welcome everyone to another video. My name is Tin, your no-code AI automation expert. And in today's video, we're going to be creating an AI agent that creates ad creative images for you. So if you're an agency owner, if you want to create and generate ad creatives every single day on autopilot, this is the perfect workflow in NA10 for you. And best of all, it's very simple. Okay, let's jump in. So as you can see right here in front of me, this is the entire workflow that we have. So how this workflow works is when there is a form submission, uh, ad creative prompt agent will create prompts for uh, generating ad creative. Then we have open AI API. Uh, this is a new open AI image generation API that lets you generate an image based on the prompt. And these are very high quality images. As you can see from there, uh, you basically convert this to a file. Uh, so from here, you will get a bunch of like data and then that data is being uh, returned into like a file so that that file can be saved as a JPEG and PNG to Google Drive. Now, this is how it looks like, as you can see right here. So this is what I got right here. Now, obviously you can you even create more customizable like, things with it, but yeah, that's pretty much how it works. So, so let's get started. So the first thing that you need is obviously an NA10 account and you can get started. Now, obviously this template, along with a lot of other templates you can find in our premium community. So if you want, check out the premium community down below in the description, okay? So first of all, we have an on-form submission. So this is, we went in here, we went to a, a trigger and basically on-form submission. This is the trigger that we're using. And as you can see, the trigger looks like this. So we have authentication, none. A form title is add creative brief. And then we just said, please provide the needed information below to generate and add creative, okay? From there, we have first uh, question. Field name is just first question here. Uh, what is the product service you're advertising okay it's a required field text who is your target audience again same thing what's the main selling point or benefit again same thing what kind of visual style do you prefer again same thing here and then do you want the product to appear in the image this is like a drop down list and then we have i want the product to appear in the image i don't want the product to appear in the image i made it this instead of yes and no because i will show you later down the line it's needed for the prompt from there we have uh nothing text overlay element type text for me submitted that's about it if we test this um unpin and test this is how it looks like right now we can go here and we can say okay what is the product service you're advertising we're advertising sneakers uh, my target audience is uh males that have broken males that have issues with back pain what's the male selling point back pain relief what kind of visual style do you prefer? Now here you can say realistic, you can say something like Ghibli. You have a lot of like styles that you can um, that you can use. Now, one thing to note here is go to this document that I will attach in the description and here you can see the style. So as you can see, if you, for example, go with the meme style, this is how it's going to look like. If you want a photorealistic style, this is how it's going to look like, right? This is, by the way, from OpenAI. If you want something that is like a, uh, in a style of Gustav Klimt, then this is how it's going to look like, right? Ghibli, this is the Ghibli style, as I uh, mentioned. You have like Warport poster style. You have photorealistic poster advertising. We can go and we can go with that. So let's go with that. Let me actually go here and get back to the uh, brief. So we can paste that right in here, photorealistic po poster advertising. Do you want the product to appear in the image? I want the product to appear in the image and then text overlay, you can say something like, you know, this is optional, but you can say something like, you know, for example, back pain relief in just 30 days or something like that. Once we submit this, I'm just going to be pinning the data here just so we have that saved as you can see this is how we're going to be outputting the data okay from there we're adding an ai agent so an ai agent is right here okay and uh, yeah we're just adding an ai agent we already added one which is right here and what i did is i just named it add creative prompt okay i click define below and this is what i did so I said, write a prompt for creating ad creative based on this information, okay? And what I did is I added product 
and then I added the sneakers in here, right? So I just drag and drop the product in here. Target audience, I drop this one in here. Selling point, I drop this one in here and so on and on, right? For texting the ad, again, I just said right here, back pain relief, okay? I added that right here. So it's drag and drop and you will be able to see here that this is how it looks like when uh, it's being generated into a prompt, okay? Now, what we did here is we added an open router chat model. And uh, now I've done, I've connected this node probably thousands of times already. Um, but you simply want to go to open router, uh, like a website, go to the platform, sign up. It's completely free and go to the right section, go to the keys, API keys and get or generate one API key from there. Just go here on pencil, paste it in here and then just uh, select GPT 3.5 Turbo, okay? Once you select this, and once you have this, test this step by clicking test. And as you can see, we get here a prompt, create a photorealistic poster advertising style featuring a pair of sneakers with the text back pain relief in 30 days. Again, if you want in the form section right here, you can add as many details as you want, and it can be as rich as you want in terms of details and description. So again, just make sure you uh, yeah you do that. From there, we have an HTTP request node. So this is how this node looks like, HTTP request, right? We added it right here. And uh, what you can do is you can go to API reference. By the way, all of these documents will be the, in the description. And you can go here to example request and make sure this is curl. Uh, you don't have any other options, so you can just click curl copy this and you want to go to here import curl and you want to paste it right here and just click import this will import and auto populate the method the url the headers the body everything right here now keep in mind in the body you will have one parameter right here that is called n and make sure to delete that parameter because we don't need that parameter so this is how it's going to look like post method you will have an endpoint URL, send headers using fields below. This is very important. Name should be authorization, value should be bearer, space, and then your API key. Now, for the API key, what you want to do is you want to go to, and by the way, you can see here I have $5 of credits. You want to go like this. You want to go to API keys and make sure to sign up to platform.openai.com, create a new API key. And what you want to do next, after you create an API key, you want to do two more things. You want to go to billing. You want to add at least $5 to the billing. As you can see, usually it's around 20 cents uh, per uh, generated image and add creative. So just make sure you know that. And one thing you want to do is you want to go to general and you want to make sure that your organization is verified, okay? So you want to generate the API key, obviously create an account before that, generate API key, add a billing. Also in the billing, make sure you disable auto uh, recharge because that will charge your card multiple times. In general, make sure your organization is verified. So those are three things you want to do before doing anything okay from there you will add your api key right here so again bearer and then space api key just paste it okay from there you send body json using fields below model is going to be gpt image one if you imported curl in the right way you will have all of these down below prompt is something that you should change so prompt should be output you just drag and drop the output in here right this is what i already did as you can see and if you go to expression and click here this is what it should say right it should say it like a prompt okay so from there size uh, you can choose between um a couple of different sizes if, if i go here and if i just test the step as you can see these are the sizes that you can get so you have uh 1024 by 153 so th those are the sizes right here you can kind of choose from the sizes what i did is i chose this one right here okay so i'm just going to be copy and pasting that in here okay and that's pretty much it you just test the step here okay this step will take some time until it's being generated completely so we'll need to wait a little bit until this is done okay currently it says it's error but it's not error it's actually generating and uh, to be honest it's very fast it's probably faster than using it in chat gpt 
I'm not sure why, but yeah, that's how it is. And as you can see, once this is done, let's just take a look. In the meantime, while this is being generated, you want to go and add a convert to file node. And this is how it's going to be looking like convert to file. Okay. And in here, you want to click here and you want to type in base and click on this one. And this will give you this node right here. Okay. It's still being generated. So in this node, you want to add the, all the data that you get from the open AI node. Okay. So, uh, yeah, let's, uh, yeah, as you can see, we have it here. So we just add it right here. Why are we doing this? So we're doing this because in open AI, we're getting a bunch of different uh, informations and data points. And uh, this is not the actual image. As you can see, it has 3.7 megabytes of data. And we want to convert that data into a real data, into a real image. So what we're doing is we have this right here and we just test the step. Again, you're adding this in here. And once we test this step, we should be able to get an image right here. As you can see, back pain relief in just 30 days. We have obviously Nikes, but you know, if we put our own descriptions of our shoes, we could get something different here, okay? So this is basically it. From there, what we can do is we can go to uh, and add a Google Drive node. So we added a Google Drive node, and by the way, this is Google Drive node here, and then upload, upload file. This is what we want. Now, keep in mind for the Google Drive, you will need to go to Google Cloud uh, and you will need to create uh, a um, project on it. Now, I've created a video a while back on the channel. You can search it up, Google credentials, how you can obtain Google credentials and how you can obtain client ID and client secrets. So make sure to check that out, okay? From there, we after we add this right here, we are going to be adding file, upload, data, and then because the data is coming from here and then file name will be a file name from here or who is your target audience you can you can use any any pretty much any like data from here i use back pain relief i think so yeah on form submission what is the product service you're advertising this is what i use so you can just drag and drop anything or you can just name it example or sampled one right whatever you want parent drive is my drive and then from list at creatives because we want to save it in here okay now we just test this step and after this is done we should be able to get it in here okay let's check yes we have it here as you can see sample one and this is the entire ad creative so as you can see, this is the entire workflow. Very simple. We're just calling out the open AI image generation API. And uh, yeah, if you want to use this again, we have this in premium group. Again, you can also build this with this tutorial alone. Uh, but yeah, if you want to uh, check out the premium group, check out the premium group, subscribe to our channel. And yeah, hopefully this is useful to you and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you guys for watching.